Now we come to one of the peak moments of the Lee Slen period. Railway transport difficulties in England were growing enormous, and to help alleviate the strain on our loco shops, the Yanks sent over a number of their own locomotives which had to be prepared for the track on arrival here. This work couldn't be considered strange to our Eastly people. A locomotive is a locomotive the world over, they said. But the American tendency to put so many of the works on the outside of the boiler casing was a bit puzzling, even though it looked quite impressive that way. However, these engines were successfully got ready for their European war service, and no vital parts were left over. They were intended primarily to restock the French railways after our inevitable invasion. It was already known that the Germans had requisitioned the greater number of French locos for their own use. Damage to what remained was likely to occur as the result of our own pre-invasion bombing. So until D-Day, these American locos served their apprenticeship somewhere in England. Later on, they did a grand job supporting our armies along their difficult road to victory. Ah, break for workers' playtime. Here's Fanny, special envoy from Ensa, putting over a hot one while she absentmindedly tears that newspaper into dainty doilies for the canteen trays. One advantage of schizophrenia, anyway. The audience warms up to appreciative temperature, and thus encouraged, Mabel makes short work of any doubt about her ability to knock up a tune on the Watsons.